I know Brian and uh, Amanda. They want to welcome you here today in Jamaica to witness and to celebrate the marriage between them both. Brian and Amanda, marriage is honorable, should not be entered into lightly, but soberly, distinctly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons now come to be joined together. If anyone can find any just cause why they should not be joined, speak now or hereafter, hold your peace. Brian, you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, Brian, going into marriages, we have some successful keys that I want to tell you about. These keys are communication, understanding, trust, and true love. I want you both to use those keys in your marriage. I have been using those keys for 29 years. It have allowed my marriage to be long-lasting, vibrant, and successful. Today, I am giving you those keys to keep. Use them in your marriage. You will see how long and lasting your love will be. I also encourage you to allow patience, <coughs> temperance, kindness, compliments, the regular practice of your daily lives. I want you to put them on as little garments every day and never take them off. These are practical edges of love and they're also the tools that allow your marriage to be glued together. In Jamaica parlance, we will always say teeth and tongue will meet because it share the same roof. But just as the teeth, it bite the tongue very hard sometimes, isn't that so? But it lie together in one place every night. And so I want you to, irrespective of what may happen, stay together, lie together in one place every night. Keep soothing each other. The teeth soothe the tongue and the tongue soothe the teeth, whatever it is. Lie together in one place. Never go to bed mad because going to bed mad never give you a soft pillow. And so I implore you at all times, be at peace with each other. Sometimes as ladies we have our egotistic behavior and sometimes we are very, very stubborn. We said, okay, I'm not gonna talk to you and you're not gonna talk to me. But Brian and Amanda, use the bridge of forgiveness. That bridge name is Brian, that takes it over to you, Amanda, and the bridge name, another bridge, is Amanda. It takes her over to you, Brian. So at all times, use the bridge of forgiveness. And the best vitamin you could ever be for each other is B1. Okay? So use that with your marriage. Brian, will you have Amanda to be your lawful wedded wife? To have and to hold from this day forward. Will you love her, comfort her, Keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Keep thee on your to you so long as you both shall live. Great. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite fast and quick. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, will you have Brian to be your lawful wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward. Will you love him, comfort him? Keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Keep thee on your to you so long as you both should live. Right. I do. Right. May I have the rings, please, as you face each other and take your bucket. Face each other, join hands together. Thank you. Face prayer time. While your heads for prayer, everyone, let us pray. Almighty God, eternal Father. Today we give you thanks for Brian and Amanda. We thank you, Almighty God, for these rings that you have placed in their hearts to share. We pray right now for Brian who gives it and Amanda who wears it. We pray also for Amanda who gives it and Brian who wears it. Almighty God, we pray that these rings will be worn throughout the encircling years of their lives. I pray you might bless this union together. Bless the family and friends that gather here to celebrate with them. Almighty God, we pray that you might preserve and keep them all even throughout their vacation to Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Brian, take Amanda's ring. Place it on the fourth finger of our left hand. And as you do so, look her in the eyes and say, With this ring, I thee wed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. of his left hand. As you do so, look him in the eyes and say, with this ring, 
I the wed in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Join hands together for me again. Okay. Brian, continue that affectionate look in the eyes of Amanda right now <laughs> as you repeat after me. I, Brian. I, Brian. Take you, Amanda. Take you, Amanda. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and cherish. Until we're parted by death. Until we're parted. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Amen. Continue the gracious little girl as you <laughs> repeat after me. I, Amanda, I am take you, Brian, Brian, to be my lawful wedding husband, my lawful wedding husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, <laughs> for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we're parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Amen. Amen. For as much as Brian and Amanda, they have both made their public declaration. They have shared rings. They now join heads together by the power vested in me as marriage officer and civil registrar for the island of Jamaica. I pronounce them husband and wife. Sir Brian, the pleasure is yours, sir. You may kiss your beautiful wife. Finish signing, then they'll use the spot here. <laughs> 